a lot of brands, especially product brands, are using these YouTube ads because it's probably one of the cheapest platforms to use as, as opposed to like Google search ads or Instagram or print, TV, radio, Facebook, anything like that. Like YouTube ads is really cost effective and it has the best targeting that you can imagine in terms of like what you can do with it. So right now I'm running YouTube ads for like businesses that are suspended on Google and they see my YouTube ad and then they click and call me or go to my landing page. So what you do, basically you can create a new cam campaign here and you can choose different goals, like different options. So Google gives you a bunch of different options and that's how it depends like that's how it determines what type of campaign it thinks you should run. Right. So let's say I choose product and brand consideration. Encourage people to explore your products or services. So then it's going to prompt me to do a video campaign on YouTube. And we're going to try to influence consideration for people to consider using Formthotics. And then there's really like two or three different types of like targeting options you can choose from here. So let's just give this a, let's just call this form one. And we're going to tell Google, we want to do a maximum cost per view, which is the most amount of money we want to spend to get a view on, on your video. So it's like, okay, Google, like we're going to go with the maximum cost per view strategy. We can choose how much we want to spend per day, your campaign total or we could do a daily budget. Let's just call it a daily budget that we can turn off at any time. Unlike doing a TV or radio or billboard where you're stuck into a budget. Let's just say we do $10 a day and we can turn that off at any point. And let's say you guys have a, a huge following down in Florida with like maybe one of your form thotics that's like better for like you know, older demographics and we target some senior living communities or maybe we want to target like the University of Oregon and target like the area right around whatever city that is. So you can choose your geographic area you want to target literally down to zip codes. And then you can choose your language. Obviously we want to go with English because the video is in English. Uh, inventory type, this doesn't really matter. Excluding types and labels, this is where we kind of narrow down who we don't want to see the ad. You know, we don't want it embedded on other websites or live streaming videos. You can go down and choose related videos. This would be like, you know, maybe choosing other um, products or brands related to your brand. We don't need to do that for now. Additional settings, you know, let's say we're targeting an older demographic that doesn't really use. Um, you know, their mobile phone as much, you know, maybe we just want to hit them with ads on their computers and then, so we can cap an impression frequency, how many times people see it to like, you know, three times a day, three times a month, whatever the case might be. If someone keeps seeing the same ad, that could be good or bad. You could do an ad schedule. Let's say we're targeting an older demographic. You know, they're not going to be awake after 9 p.m. So we could run the ad from 8 a.m. to 9 p.m. or something. We could throw in some third-party measurement if we want to use like a third-party measurement tool. That's a little bit advanced. And then your ad group, you create an ad group. Let's say we'll target based on keywords. Then you could choose your demographic. Let's say we this let's say your product is better suited for females ages 45 and up per on their feet a lot so maybe they're a parent and maybe they you know we want them to have a higher discretionary income so we remove the lower 50% of household incomes you see how detailed targeting we're getting for YouTube there's like a couple different targeting me methods here you could do break it down into different audiences based on like what Google and YouTube think the audiences are. Right. You could use keywords like plantar fasciitis or topics like sports or media or travel or whatever, or placements. The two that we'll be looking at are placements and keywords. Those are 
in terms of like ROI and targeting, like the, the most direct. Mm -hmm. And then your bidding, you can literally choose how much you want to spend to get a maximum cost per view. Like what's the most I want to spend to have somebody watch this video. And then you want to take a video that's specific to the problem that people are searching for. You want to have a video that's tailored to whoever you're targeting the campaign around. You know what I mean? And then there's two types of ads, ad formats that you can run. The first one's a skippable in-stream ad. This is the video that you have to skip before you watch your video. The best thing about those videos is you literally have to watch the first five seconds of the ad before you can skip it, which is unlike any other sort of digital advertising. Yeah, and then the other ad is like in your video feed. So as you're like, you're scrolling through your videos, you know, you see ads at the top or around, you know, those are the ones you don't skip. They're just visible at all times, you know, when you're looking through YouTube. So then let's say we choose the skippable in-stream video ad. And then what you do is you just put a final URL, like the landing page. You know, you could put that there and then you a display URL that people see. And then you, you put a call to action where it's like super basic. You could say, like, so you'd send them to a landing page where maybe you have more information about the video they just watched and like how you guys can help them.